e maker e head your a problem to article okowa campaign in emo pcc dg says this is prudent news on prudent mstv the leadership and members of the Atiku Okoa Presidential Campaign Council PCC in Imo State have come out to express absolute dissatisfaction over the activities of the former governor Emeka Ihedioha, which they said is a big problem to the campaign in the state. Speaking to newsmen at the Atiku Okoa Presidential Campaign Office in Oweri, the Imo State Capital, the Director General of the campaign, Honorable Greg Egu, said they have continued to do the needful by ensuring the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, and his vice, Senator Ifanyo Okoa, gets the needed visibility and acceptance in the state, not minding the anti-Atiku activities of Emeka Ihedioha. Another key member of the Atiku Okoa PCC in the state and at the national level, Evangelist Mike Ikoku, in his remark equally berates the former governor for embarking on a journey of desperation geared towards his gubernatorial ambition, thereby frustrating the PCC activities in the state. A maker in Haiti has activities by sidetracking the emo PCC management and the harmonious function of the council members to further his governorship ambition instead of having a cohesive campaign structure. It is common knowledge that he constantly boasts of using His Excellency Amino Tambowal and His Excellency Larry Market to manipulate the system to suit his governorship ambition in the state, even if it means PDP losing elections in Imo State. Atiku's campaign in Imo is in trouble. Why? Because a maker in Hedioha has been, has been using Atiku Okowa campaign in Imo to campaign for his own personal governorship aspiration. And this will destroy the opportunity our presidential candidate has in Imo. That's why we need help from them to call him to order. Speaking further to journalists, the DG, Honorable Greg Egu, said Emeka has continued to work against the PCC by influencing certain persons in the party, including the state party chairman, against the activities outlined by the presidential campaign committee. They even went as far as boycotting meetings whenever he calls for one. Greg Egu posited. Ikeoku on his part said they remain resolute and committed to the success and victory of Vatiku, regardless of the EADR's negative motives. In conclusion, we therefore warn that Emeki Hedioha should desist from unilaterally convening meetings of his selected nominees in his private residence in the name of the Imo PCC because we cannot guarantee his true intentions. You guys can see that Atiku Abubaka has a befitting campaign office here on Okibwe Road in front of prisons. As we speak here, Emeka has got invested one couple in Atiku's campaign in Imo State. This office, he didn't invest one couple in everything we are doing in Atiku's campaign. Till today, a maker has never invested one couple. You can only work for where your mind is. Because he refused to invest, he doesn't believe in Atiku. I want to tell you clearly that a maker does not believe. Brother, he wants to ride on the vehicle of Atiku for whatever ambition. But it will not work that way. We are going to do everything humanly possible with or without him, to make sure that we preach the gospel of Atiku. We talk to our people about Atiku. We make sure Atiku, because Imo is PDP. Because Imo is PDP, the actions of one man cannot destroy the opportunity our presidential candidate has in Imo State. When contacted to react to the development, the state publicity secretary of the party, Mr. Collins Opruzo, said, Emeka Yedioha is not in any way working against the party's candidate. He is the leader of the party and he has continued to fund Atiku Okowa's campaign in the state, Opruzo said, though earlier position of the PCC members led by Honorable Greg Egu claims otherwise. From Imo State, Southeast Nigeria, Ajibade Awofeso, Prudent, MSTV News.